So I did a smoky eye, as you can see, with Revlon, and I have a different reaction to the products today um, because I changed the foundation. Today I used the Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Foundation, and I knew that because it's a mousse, it was going to come out a lot, so I just barely pushed it down, but it wasn't soft enough, and it went, and it just went everywhere, and I wasted some product, and it was just a hot mess, and I was like, oh, I had an epic fail today, and um, I used a fluffy brush to apply it, but I'm not really a fan of how it set on my face. It's kind of grainy. I don't know if you can tell in the lighting. I can kind of see it because I see it, <laughs> but I also got a new powder. It's the Photo Ready Setting Powder, so... The stuff that I bought before was just a foundation that's set to a powder. It wasn't a powder powder. So yeah, now I know what to use. I think I liked this. I'm going to use this with the liquid foundation later on this week. And then I can give you a better, I guess, um, opinion of this. Another new product that I decided to try today was Photo Ready Eye Primer. And it's also a brightener. I used it underneath my eye and then I also used it underneath the eyeshadows. And... Um, I think I like it. It's cool. It's got a pinky undertone to it, so that could be useful. <laughs> and then there's also the Revlon, uh, I think it's, what is this? The Color Burst Lip Butter, which it's almost like, a, I guess, a lip balm with color in it. I, I don't know if I like it or just like it. Um, it's a soft lipstick kind of sheer I guess I would say but not sheer at the same time because the first application was and the second one just went like wah so I was like whoa color burst so yeah and then um I use different eyeshadows and I'll show you the entire list of products that I used in in my blog on my website and give you a general you know idea of what I liked about each product or what I didn't like the I got this sparkly eyeshadow called Night Sky. I think I remember it's called Night Sky. I should probably look at the stuff that I used before I make a video to make this a lot easier. But anyway, Night Sky is a glittery, <laughs> almost black color. It was glittery. Uh, I just finished my makeup application. So in the light, it, it showed a little bit of glitter. You can kind of see. Wait, wait, wait. I saw a sparkle or two. Uh, uh. Well, yeah, so... The, the glitter kind of fades out, not kind of, it fades out, and holy fallout. It's a good thing I decided to do my smoky eye before my foundation because it was just glitter all under here, so that sucked. But I have an eyeshadow primer on now because of this Revlon Photo Ready thing. I don't even know if it's designed to be used as an eyeshadow primer, but I used it anyway because it said eye primer. And... I see the word primer and I say, okay, <laughs> so fine. And I will let you know how, you know, this stuff holds. Um, actually, I use a lot of new products today, but you know, I'll have that listed. So let's just stay tuned and see how this goes. All right, we are heading towards the end of the day and you know, the eyeshadow, oh, I haven't looked at it until now. It's faded. <laughs> so that's a bummer. Um, the sun is setting, so I don't know if this is starting to look like my skin is clearer. No, actually, no, it doesn't. Um, you know, looking in the mirror, I'm in my car, so it's kind of hard to, to judge your your makeup when you're in the car, especially because the sun makes it turn a different color. Uh, but looking at it now, it's still pretty grainy, this mousse stuff. I'm, I'm not really a big fan of it, and actually, it, it appears to be a too light for my skin so I'm thinking that maybe I'm just picking the wrong colors but um, I was actually in a department store in the cosmetic section I looked in the mirror and I was like whoa it, my makeup was so whitish and grainy I could definitely see the pink underneath my skin you know if it was if there were any irritated parts it was showing but it's really hard to trust the fluorescent lighting in the cosmetic section you know it, the whole the the way that a cos a department store lights their cosmetics department it's ridiculous it's so you can sell it's so they can sell so you can buy it 
it's always clean looking and bright and shiny and blah 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 but it's not always the best lighting to actually see what the makeup looks like on your skin but anywho so I'm trying not to, to use that as judgment Ooh, the sun really got in my face really <laughs> but oh I hope you can see it now in this lighting it looks you know just you see all the you know definitions of my face which is a good thing for um, someone <laughs> I'm sure people want to see their real skin show through I don't I don't want to look like I don't have enough makeup on my face I like the um, the full coverage look I almost said layered but I don't want to say that because I, I do layer my makeup I, I'm, I have a heavy hand I do but you know you can see almost just every f pore and crevice you know in this I'm looking into my iPhone right now and I can see it myself you know the discoloration right here it's just not even so the mousse foundation isn't for me but um, tomorrow I'm gonna go back into a regular you know neutral face makeup and try the liquid foundation again with the right powder this time and see how I like it and yeah but it's only one foundation line by Revlon there's as far as I know at least two others so so much more to try but I want to try out a different brand next and we'll see what happens so um, as far as the lipstick I keep saying as far as the lipstick is concerned or anything is concerned I have these phrases that I use in every video it's ridiculous but anyway the lipstick I've had to reapply several times Ooh, this is a hot mess this Sun is in my face I have had to apply my lipstick several times and it's just like any other lipstick I think you know it's basic it's fine um, I don't know the the claims they, they claim that people who have used this lipstick have felt like their skin is softer or their lips, you know, their lips have been softer and more hydrated or I can't remember what it was. Eh, they feel the same to me. They feel like just regular lips. Um, when this starts to fade out, you can really feel like you need more. It's like, mmm, my lips are feeling kind of dull right now. I gotta put something on. So, I don't know. It's not one of my favorite lip products, but, um... It's okay for what it does, I guess. The eyeshadows, well, I guess it's the size of my eye. Look, it's sparkly now. And I did notice that in the stores, it was very sparkly. So, yes, I will say, as far as the sparkle is concerned, I did it again. <laughs> it does, it does show. You can see it. I mean, the sun's in my eye. And you can see how, like, it is. <laughs> there should be a terminology for that. But anyway, you can definitely see it. And, you know, this is... I know they have a dark... They have a black eyeshadow that's in its own little packet. I'm not a... I don't want to buy just a black eyeshadow. I mean, Night Sky was dark enough. It looked like it. But, I mean, this doesn't look like a, a deep, dark, black, smoky eye look. I do like the eyeliner. The twist-up pencil. The, I think it's the Color Stay eyeliner. Because I'm looking at my waterline and there's still some color left. And there's still a lot of color within my lash line. That's good. This is a really good eyeliner because the stain power is, is pretty neat. It's a darn good thing that I rewatched that video because this would have bothered me while I edited it. There is a thing right here. A smidge. A smear. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the eyeliner that had smeared right here or if it was the eyeshadow. But there's just smudgies everywhere, inside my eye, underneath. I want to assume it's the eyeshadow. I really do. Because the eyeshadow had gave me problems right from the get-go when I applied it. So, uh, I don't know. So I said I was going to do a neutral look tomorrow, but I think I should do something more vampy where I have a smoky eye and a red lip. Very, very bold. Um, I work at 9 in the morning tomorrow, though, so I'm all like girl I'm gonna go to work with like <laughs> dark eyes and red lip I think I'm gonna have to because I really want to see this this eyeliner again because I want to know exactly what it was that was smearing I'm gonna find out